Hey guys, today we're comparing Defender Player Series with the brand new Player Plus. Hey guys, Chris here. And my name is Guillaume. Hope you're having a great day today. We are, because we have some uh, some new toys. Mm -hmm. These are the brand new Fender Player Plus uh, series guitars. This is a Strat. No way. This is <laughs> the guitar, and he has the other one. <laughs> <laughs> now, a um, bunch of new features. It's um. the evolution of what we now know as the, the, the Mexican Strat, yeah. the Player series, which has been the best-selling Fender, yeah. I think, without a doubt. Earlier, uh, the Fender, the Standard series, yeah. the Mexican Standard series, yeah. then this Mexican Player series, and now there is something new. And there's, a well, quite a few details that are different. Yeah, there's a lot going on. But the essentials are still the same. So we are talking about older body, yep. maple necks, Pofer or maple, uh, maple boards, yeah. um, very well fendery specs, as yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But there are some modern features. For example, the noises pickups yep. in all these guitars, no matter which model. But you need some gain. You need some gain. Humbucker? Not humbucker. <laughs> humbucker? Well, it is humbucker. Not humbucker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the pickups are awesome. Um, they sound very non noiselessy I would say. Yeah, uh, I a little bit like... bulky. I feel like there's, uh, compared to like earlier noiseless, where you can instantly hear like, okay, it sounds thinner or, and or thin. Or scooped. Yeah. Yeah. There's more compensation done with these, yeah. probably with the coil and then like the materials used. So I think these are maybe a little bit too compensated. There's a lot of pokiness. I, I think mostly in the in the strat. Maybe the strat, the telly. Of course, not the fine. telly. It's yeah, telly, but yeah. the strat. You, you know, you know me. You know me. So I'm, I'm just saying, they're great pickups, Fender. <laughs> but <laughs> and also, yeah, locking tuners. Yeah, and uh, the shiny logo. It's not the traditional spaghetti logo. Yeah, that you is You get fancy. the Fender Elite, American Elite, American Premium kind of uh, yeah. shiny silver logo, which looks beautiful, and. The Nashville Tally, which this is, uh, also has a really clever little push-pull to blend clamps. in the neck pickup. So if you pull this, it will give, like, put the uh, neck pickup yeah. on top of these two in position two, or this in position one. So you have your traditional middle position on Tally still, and you can have all three pickups on, which I will show, definitely. Yeah, it, in my opinion, this is the best Tally ever made, because that's the closest thing to a strap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. go through some sounds and yeah. then we'll add up on the specs and see what else because there are a bunch of other details that have changed since yeah. the uh, the original player. Do you want to go? Yeah, sure.
That's a lot of options. And a lot of good noises. Yeah. Actually, it it all just sounds right. I don't feel like these are too pokey. If anything, then the bridge pickup lacks a bit of this edginess, this, yeah. this crisp, hunky, whatever. Because they were super balanced. Like but every it's a very nice sounding yeah. bridge pickup. Uh, pickup. The others are like exactly how you'd expect a yeah. strat pickup or a neck um, tally pickup yeah. to sound. And the in-between tones are awesome. I am just <laughs> my brain just started going nuts. <laughs> Everyone in the comment section was always like, "Yeah, we'll make a tally guy out of you, Jeeve." And then you know, how about we make an ST guy out of him? <laughs> have we ever have we ever considered I've that? I've been there, dude. I've been there. All right, give uh, me that so, cable. Okay. I'm gonna go through the cleans on mine, yeah. and uh, and then we'll talk some more. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm gonna have to pull back a little bit on what I was saying earlier, mostly with the uh, the next single coil. I think with twisting the amp because to jam, I, I was basing my impression off of the jam, and I was playing uh, in the uh, in the hot rod deluxe. deluxe yeah. Maybe that was a little bit too pokey as well, because in this amp, like in isolation, I don't feel it as much, but mostly I'm super impressed by that. Yeah, the humbucker. Like when I sw uh, I, I was expecting something, I don't know, you know, in the bridge position, Harsh usually it's kind of, yeah. yeah. And this is very sweet. Yeah. This is a very sweet nice kind of articulation and, and it just has that mid range that yeah. you really want from a Exactly. Uh, that's, uh, yeah. I know, I know. Which is funny, it looks like a wide range, but yeah, the, the dimensions are not the wide range no, no. dimensions. So I'm, I'm guessing this is just, just a real normal humbucker. With the looks yeah, yeah, of a wide it range. Feels like aesthetically, humbucker. and I, I, I really dig it. Like the wide yeah. range is super sexy oh, kind of humbucker. Oh, yes. uh, yeah, this is really cool. There are a couple more things that we haven't mentioned before is now the saddles on both the tellies and mm -hmm. the strats are like block saddles, like massive and not. The strats were bent Deep steel. vintage style. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so this is uh, fairly chunky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, this feels um, really smooth. And my biggest yes. plus is, I guess you were <laughs> trying to say... I was getting that. Yeah. <laughs> is the fretboard edge. Not only the, the frets, but the actual fretboard. Like yeah. the wood, it's fender nailed this like all through the range. Even, even with squires, actually. Yeah, more and more across oh, wow. the whole range. Yeah. I mean, this is how every guitar should be built, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. It's round, it's sweet, it's as comfortable as it can get. Yeah, uh, yeah. nice and thin. C next, if you're into that, modern, it's awesome. Yeah, modern C, yeah, yeah for uh, sure. It, I like a bit of, uh, you know, a chunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. But uh, you've got it's, something it's to actually break, a so. very comfortable neck. Even if you prefer thicker necks, this is not the kind of super flat thin. yeah. uh, thingy. It's it's a very nice, for super sure. easy to play neck. Yeah. All right, so now that you guys have an idea of what the pickups uh, sound like as they are, all the positions, all the bells and whistles, we are going to put these through the paces yeah. compared to the uh, original player series and go through some clean gains, yep. all, all of the good stuff. You will be playing the HSS, right? Yep. And you will play it against this guy. Yeah. Which is the Fender player, it's a black HSS strap. Yeah. That's it. And I will be playing this Maple Neck Telly against its player mm, series it's counterpart. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you start. wanna start? Yeah.
<laughs> that is so disappointing. <laughs> what? So frustrating. What? Why won't you just like finish it? You know? <laughs> <laughs> just to annoy you. <laughs> uh, this is harder. It's not yeah. closer to the strings than the player's yeah. um, Anico pickup, but it's definitely more chewy and chunky. Yeah. Okay, your impressions. I think uh, playability. Big differences, small differences, first of all. Big difference is playability. Okay. 100%. For yeah. me, the neck is all the difference. I think the small differences are mostly going to be hardware and stability over time. Like okay. things like the synthetic bone nut. Oh, yeah, those are is awesome. It's definitely yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, locking tuner, easy, you know, ease of life kind of a thing. The saddle's like nothing here is going to move. I think that's, that's a good thing. Uh, noiseless. I mean, it's always practical. Yeah, I mean, you know, you like it or you don't. Or you're not a that's fan. It, Whatever. That's it. Whatever. And you guys have heard have the done. sound. You you know, you can make your own opinion, but you cannot deny the fact that if you've ever done a gig in a bar close to a railway station <laughs> or a mine, it is unplayable. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. And this is why this is why this exists. Uh, you guys, let us know which tone you preferred more. Because that's again, of course, an important factor when we're talking about normal single coils and noiseless single coils. The noiseless pickups are more practical as a no-brainer. Yeah, it's, of course. It, you know, full stop, that's it. Um, yeah, tone, you can prefer this one or the other one. I actually liked the crunchy tones of the noiseless yeah. and the clean tones definitely from, from the, the normal Alnicos. Yeah. But it's like, it depends on what you like and what you want to use the guitar for. So you let us know all of that in the comment section. Yes, please. While well, you're down there, if you can consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, if you want to see all the other finishes, all the other models, they're all linked in the description box down below, so go check it out. And we'll see you very soon, I guess. And this has to be the prettiest Telecolor ever. <laughs> I love it. It's a metallic green, come on! It, it doesn't get any better. Oh, goodbye, guys. It is pretty. It is it's so rock and roll. I, I, but like Christmas I might take rock, a picture. you know, yeah, Christmas rock and roll yeah. kind of thing. But this relict, Michael Bublé in a jean jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might, I have a telly body, you know. Uh, that that was our conclusion, by the way, guys. <laughs> cool. Bye. <laughs>